The pandemic is having a big impact on folks financially, but also mentally. Tonight, 25 News reporter Abby Loring tells us how a younger generation wants to see a bigger emphasis on mental health. Not only do students have to worry about tests and passing classes, but now due to COVID-19, students have to worry about finding jobs in a tough economy and fighting loneliness during a time of isolation. It is a mental health crisis, and even prior to the pandemic, you know, Suicides in our country were on the, the rise. COVID-19 has brought to the surface many underlying issues within our nation that involve more than just a virus, but a mental health crisis. Because the pandemic has so many uh, far-reaching consequences in terms of uh, economic consequences. You know, when you have those economic threats, economic challenges, that leads to stress, anxiety, which are mental health issues. Uh, and the pandemic also leads to for many of us, some degree of social isolation. Mental health coverage is a luxury that not all individuals have, especially those just entering the workforce. Now, I think students, even though they uh, they would like to have that as, a, as an option uh, in their insurance provided by employers, but uh, I think the economy is such right now that most people are happy to find a job and they just kind of hope that they'll figure it out uh, like a lot of things. Especially living through a pandemic and trying to make it through school and figuring out what it means to be an adult. Um, it's all very stressful. So I honestly would say having the conversation about mental health is a big topic that we often discuss. Millennials and Generation Z are more concerned about mental health. Because of this, the upcoming generations might be a push for future employers to provide better mental health resources and coverage. I think we definitely see more uh, openness to, to mental health, uh, less stigmatizing. Um, the, the, I think pe young people today realize that if you're you know, going to talk to a therapist or a counselor, that doesn't mean you're uh, crazy or insane. It means that you know, you're having some struggles, you need somebody to talk to. I think if you want your employers to do their best, you have to give them your best. And taking care of their mental health, their physical health, emotional health. Um, I, I fully believe in a holistic approach to health, so make sure you cover all your bases. Colleges and universities have multiple resources for students while they are enrolled, but many institutions say there could be concern for when students leave and begin careers in this economy. For now, in Waco, I'm Abby Loring, 25 News.